everybody, and welcome back to the Fanged One's Ark Survival Ascended roleplay series. I am the Fanged One, with you as always, and this is... I'm scanning the YouTube channel. Uh, I want to say episode 41. Um, to put it in perspective for you guys, for those of you who don't follow the uh, the Twitter channel, or don't look at the community tab on the channel, I had a system changeover uh, about six weeks ago, and I was told that if I did a specific thing, that it would everything would carry over. Well, it didn't. Uh, so, which means I had to basically get back to the ending point on episode forty from scratch. Uh, I tried to rebuild everything as close as I could to what it was before. Um, there's a bunch of animals all kind of gathered off the side of the building, uh, that I've been gathering one by one, and a whole bunch of the human NPCs that I had to re re get. I haven't named them yet. Um, I'll probably be doing that. <clears throat> I actually will probably take a break right here, uh, and just before I come back, I'll have them all named and moved. I, 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 I can take about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to do that, uh, but... If things are a little wonky from the last episode to this one, I wanted to let you know why, like where that discrepancy is coming from. To put it into perspective for you, when we stopped recording on episode 40, uh, the Love Evolved, or I'm sorry, Love Ascended, was running. <clears throat> the center just dropped yesterday, to put it into perspective for how long it's taken me to do this. So... I am going to try to push through the rest of this, because with the center dropping, I finally have a couple of maps I can do challenge stuff on for Ascended. I've also got to get working started on uh, the roleplay series for oh, Scorched Earth and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get jumped in and get this episode continued, shall we? Okay, guys, so I finished the, the stuff I needed to do. It, it took a little longer than I thought. It took about 35 minutes instead of 20. But um, one last thing I wanted to let you guys know. If there are any animals missing or things that died in recent episodes that I forgot they died, I do apologize. I tried to get this as close as I could. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. I was going to take you out, but maybe it'd be better, actually. Oh, I don't have, I don't have the stuff I need for that. So let's just, let's just explore the shoreline. Looking for, looking for them. I think the last thing I was doing... I think the last thing I was doing was keeping an eye out for that that weird coral-looking animal that we found in the in the uh, in the frost regions. Ooh, you're pretty. I didn't grab a spyglass before I left. That's fine. I'll grab some crystal while I'm out. Cat, that, that fight was not going to end well for you. Like, what made you think that was a good idea? Uh. 
Ah, fiber. That's what I'm missing. Okay, I was wondering why I couldn't make this damn spyglass. Well, then I bring the... I was thinking I brought one of these with me. That just works so much better. Alright, and I'm gonna need... Just in case I see something worthwhile. That's right, I need... Right. Well, I can tell you, going into the frozen section is not going to be happening until I get... Uh, I don't know why I didn't bring the fur armor with me. You know what, I don't even... There's whole sections of the by one I haven't even explored yet. Let me go take a look. God, I love these things. One of the major areas I have not looked at yet is that that area between the two mountains. Not a bad swimmer, are you? Not as good as, you know, the stuff that actually belongs in the water, but still, not a bad swimmer, all in all. What the hell was that? I understand you gotta be, you know, protective of your territory, but I think word would have spread about me by now. You see a big guy with a big old thick beard, you know, riding through your territory. Do not attack him. He'll kill your whole tribe. Enough with the enough with the growling. I, I get it. He actually shot me. What the hell did I just hear? I actually got me in the head. Thank God I'm wearing this helmet, I'll tell you that. Uh, nice 
look in the jungle, I'll give it that. Sorry, can you not go in with me? If I'm off you, can you come in with me? No. Okay, so I'm gonna be going through here. I'm gonna be going through here alone, it looks like. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. No, I did not bring the equipment to go through here alone. Okay, let me let me come let me run back to the base real quick and grab some more gear. Cause I did not bring the stuff I need to do this. I might bring a cat with me. Like a smaller cat. Okay, no, back up. It's okay. We don't have to go that way. There you go. We can go this way. We don't want to go that way either. Huh? Okay, calm down. There we go. Okay, calm down. It actually works a lot better going sideways rather than straight up. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, hold up, that might though. There we go. It probably would have been faster to go around this damn thing. There's a good kitty. How far? Um, I literally just need to go right here. See. Hey, yeah, it would have been faster if you just literally go around the damn thing. Oh, no, it did You're used to jumping, aren't you? Yes, you are. You do not get nearly as hurt as some of the other animals when they jump. Like, not nearly. I love you. Oh, shit. were almost as useful as Lars, to be honest with you. Oh, I miss Lars. 
I really do. Alright, so I need a cat, a bird, uh, weapons, and ammunition. Grab your pack, grab your pack. Whew, that was close. That was an entire raptor pack. Uh, oh no, you're not. You're not really a threat. You hit harder than the raptors do, but your your skin is not near. Like you're not nearly as hard to get a hold of. Raptors hit like a hit like. Oh, well, they hit okay, but they're a lot harder to get a hold of. What the hell was that? I think somebody just shot a flaming arrow at me. I think. Okay, so if that's a cave, that's another artifact. And I want to say that's going to make seven? Okay, yeah, we need to give you a break. Because you got beat to shit on this run. Just from all the bumps you've taken off the rocks. Um. Did something just... No, I thought I heard... One of the apparently not. Okay. Hey, forty-four. How we doing? All right. What kind of ammo do I have? Huh. I thought I had more arrows than that. Maybe I left them all in my fabricator? Um. Alright, while it's making the arrows, while it's uh, fabricating the arrows, let me pick something to take with me. Uh, no, definitely not. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, no, definitely not. Uh, no, definitely not. You know what? I might, I might be taking it. Female. Female. Okay, so technically I can, te if I take you, I can take you for free. Cat over here. Are you a male or a female? Uh, you're a male, so technically speaking. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that other male. It's not as big as these two, and it'll give me a good breeding pair for the big ones. So yeah, I'm gonna take this. Alright, I'm gonna need to get you a kill, like, relatively early. Because you are beat up already. Hold on, do you have any meat on you? You're a boy. I'm gonna call you... Well, here, let me not point it. Let me not point a firearm at you. Uh, I'm gonna call you... I'm gonna call you Maximilian Max for short. Thank you for, thank you for the food, appreciate it. Alright, let me go grab the arrows. Grab a bird. Because I'm not running you back. 
I will fly you to the other side of the mountain. I actually think I'm gonna take you. I like you better than that purple and pink monstrosity. I think I'm gonna call you Smoke, because you kind of look like the, the gray and black smoke coming off the of fire. Better yet, I'm gonna call you Smokey. Alright, Smokey. Meet Saber Cat. Saber Cat, Smokey. Alright, let's go back to that cave. Because I want to say this is either going to give me six artifacts or seven. One in the in that lava cave. I found one on the island with all the predators on it. One near where I started. That's three. One in that underwater that, that underwater area. That's four. That little ice area that I had to kind of kneel and crawl my way through. That's five. Somewhere I can drop you off safely. Let's do... How about right here? Awesome. Alright. Okay, yeah. So it's either five artifacts I've found, or it's six, and I'm forgetting about one. If there's one underwater, though, there's going to be more. So I've got at least two more, possibly three. I had seen an area passing by a couple of days ago that looked like it might be prime artifact or prime cave territory. Is that it right there? I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's it right there. Alright. Everybody ready? you look at that i can actually get in with you oh no this swamp that's six the swamp is six so this is seven all right let's not run i don't want to run into anything 
unexpected or dangerous. I can actually get hit. Yep, I can attack from the back of you. That's good. Okay. Left or right? What do you think, buddy? Left or right? Well, left seems to go down, so let's go left. Spiders. <laughs> That's one of the ones from that woman, Helena. I think. Were it not restricted to the waters, Carcharodon Ultramegalodon would be one of the most dangerous creatures on the island. As powerful and dangerous as the Tyrannosaurus is on land, Megalodon is near its equal in the water. In addition, it has a speed advantage over any non-aquatic creature when submerged. Megalodons need large quantities of food to sustain themselves, so they attack most creatures immediately on sight. Smaller fish are the sole exception I've seen. I believe this is because they cost more energy for megalodons to catch than the predator would gain. That would make sense. Having yeah. access to the resources and treasures hidden deep within the ocean is near impossible without a domesticated sea creature. The megalodon, though difficult to domesticate, proves to be very useful when exploring the deep sea. It's not the most efficient swimmer, but it should be able to protect your cargo should you find yourself in a hostile encounter. Okay, so you can tame the sharks. That is definitely a centipede. I'm not I'm not concerned about the scorpions. The centipedes I don't like. The centipedes concern me. That's a snake. I'm not really worried about the snakes either, to be honest with you.
nope, 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 nope. Junction was uh, not even dangerous at all. This little juncture right here wasn't dangerous at all. I'm not concerned about the snakes at all, if I'm being honest. The only thing in here that really concerns me on your back are the, are the centipedes. Those things spit acid that can just dissolve my armor. I hear, what, hold up, I hear something. Battle for the Yankee too, where we'll bl blueprints on how to make one. The hell is that down there? I don't know. I don't care.
fighters all at one time. Okay, Kitty, you got this. Do that to me, please. You scared the absolute shit out of me. Another hell in a no. I don't know where to start with the Raniomorphus amalgotantibus. It has so many of the nightmare-inducing traits of spiders from among many family and genus. It fires webbing like a bowler spider. It spits venom like a lynx spider. It has a poisonous bite like a myriad of spiders and can see in the dark by sensing vibrations. And to top it off, a Raniomorphus is larger than an adult human. If that wasn't enough, I'm convinced that some of the caves on the island have actually been dug by Araniomorphus. Oh, really? But this worries me. Either Araniomorphus is a colony spider, like ants, or there is a much larger Araniomorphus somewhere on the island. Hmm. As long as it is kept far from arachnophobics, domesticated Araniomorphus makes an excellent guardian creature for anyone wanting to avoid killing. Their strange web spraying behavior is also quite helpful while hunting fast, fleeing prey. They are too small to be used as mounts, however. Okay, so I could use, I could technically tame one and use the web to keep those uh, fast moving uh, two legged animals from running away from me. Huh. I don't like the growling of whatever the hell is down there. I think it's one of the big crocodile things. I don't like it. Yep, this is the way I came up. Or came down, I should say. I found my way back in a heartbeat with that. With an artifact in tow. And my gear didn't even get too badly damaged. Huh.
I don't quite know how many this is actually going to give me, but... Still, so, uh, Cat, you did good. Let's give you a name. Let's think about names for you. Um... Like, certain things just seem too on the nose. Fang, too on the nose. Scratchy, although I do like Scratchy. I actually have an idea. I have an idea for your name, buddy. We're gonna call you Scritch. Yes, we are. We're gonna call you Scritch. Alright, Smokey, Scritch, let's get home. I gotta put this artifact up and try to figure out... Some indicator. I think there's a map above my bed, I think. Because I can try to pinpoint the most likely position of the rest of these caves. They seem to be leading me to something, and I want to know what it is. I was... I can't say brought here, because that isn't the right term. Awakened? Like, I was woken up for a reason. Let's go ahead and put you back in here with the rest of your buddy. There's, there's still plenty of berries in there. Okay. Smokey. Alright, let's go. Oh, I guess I only had five. Well, now I've got six. Okay. And I think there's a map above my bed. I think. Yeah, I thought there was a map above my bed. Okay. So, I found one in the upper, let's see, northeastern corner. I found one about midway down on the eastern bank. Another one in the south. It's kind of in the southeast, but it's also kind of just straight south. One dead center. That's where that was the that was the one in the that was the one in the in the swamp. There was one uh, literally dead center of the map just now, and there was that one up top. The underwater one was on the western shore. Okay, which means I have an idea. I need to see if I have any actual gear ready, though. I do. I do have to have some gear ready. Good. Alright, let me drop all this supplies off. Not there. Alright, I need to throw some more stone in there. Okay. So, 
considering we're going to be in a hurry, it might be best to take the, the smaller crocodile, not the bigger one. The bigger one isn't super fast. The smaller one is extremely fast. Uh, big boy, you okay in there? You alright there, big boy? down here somewhere. Aha! I thought I put a gate down here somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna take that off for right now. There's no need to waste the, the air that I've got in there. There was one literally right here. So if I had to guess... If I had to guess, the other one's going to be on the opposite side of the island. I wasn't even swimming full speed. I'm an idiot. You know, those little, those little coral-looking things. Ugh, those little coral-looking things are really, really rare, I've noticed. I think I've seen one total. I kind of want one, though. Speed ahead. This island's a lot bigger than you really expect it to be. Like, it's a lot bigger. There's the red obelisk to my left. What the hell is that? Oh, it was, it was the back spin of a shark. Okay. Okay, it was the back spin of a shark. That fin looked huge for a second. Scared the absolute shit out of me. Exceptionally speedy. Good God, like, I am literally... I'm crossing the first corner right now. 
And there are, what, two more to cross? No, really, just one more on that far side of the right. Yeah. I didn't want you to come out of the water. That's okay. Okay. Back to full speed. Yeah, I like speaking of those little coral looking uh, animals, the little thing that shot electricity at me somehow. Again, I haven't I haven't seen one this whole time. wild. I want to say this is the last little section of land right here. Or close to it. God, this is a long trip. It really is a long damn trip. Hold on, is that is that actually something I was looking for? No, it's just a rock, huh? Yeah, it's just a rock. I got I got all kinds of excited there for a second. Alright, I need to be careful with cap rows too once I get around this corner, because I'm pretty sure there's a swamp over here. Yep. Yep, that was a shark. I thought so.
So, if I had to guess, it's going to be right in this general vicinity right here. Take a breather, give you a rest. Okay, so... Let's put that back on. I got the glasses on, right? Yeah, okay. I really kind of love having this little breathing apparatus in. It at least allows me to talk. Seriously, it's right here. nothing in it that concerns me those could be a problem High enough. I'm high enough. Put uh, the fuck on. Is there a? No. Okay. Well, no yet. Kind of. That's one of the big ones. That's one of the big ones. It's seen me. this glowing uh okay we got a path here i think it's gonna be too big it's gonna be too big for that big guy to get through i think
relatively safe. Relatively being the key fucking word here. Okay, that's much better. I was really cold. That's much better. Oh, there is so much. Holy fucking shit. Okay, so those can't get me off of him. Okay, I might actually be able to fight in here. Jellyfish can get me off. Yeah, the jellyfish can actually stun me. You can't. Okay. I can't pull the I can't pull this back here, can I? No. Okay. Makes everything I brought with me utterly useless. Okay. Stay behind him. So many sharks. Just so many sharks. Fuck it. That's what I was afraid of.
on. Wait a minute. Hold up. Why am I constantly waking up in Margot's bed? Like, seriously. What is the deal here? No, that isn't even Margot's. Margot's is in here. Okay, that's weird, because I think that was Johnny's. Johnny? Uh, okay. Whew. That wasn't fun. But, at least now I know, at least now I know what, what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Tomorrow, we grab, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of berry. I'm thinking it's gonna have to be a berry. Yeah. I've got like one more scuba tank. Oh, that was unpleasant. 